We'll distract the whale while the pufferfish works on it. No, I think it's done playing with us. Hit subscribe and click the like icon. This is weird. It sure is, Leo. There are holes everywhere. Who do you think dug them up? Was it you, Hero? Well, I guess the mystery will have to wait. Oh! Hi, Junior Ranger Kai. Are you diving? How's the water? Hi, Leo. The water is just fine. But look what I just found on the ocean floor. A sand circle. You found that on the ocean floor? It's unbelievable. Look at those patterns. The circle could be a message. Maybe a signal for an alien invasion. Aliens? aliens? Should we destroy it? We don't want animals getting abducted. I think we should look for more information about the circle first. I can run the photo through the computer to find out more. Good idea, Katie. In the meantime, stay put, Kai. Don't do anything until we learn more. Got it. I'll be waiting for you guys in the waters of Amamiyoshima Island. Ranger out. Ranger out. There's no alien invasion. The sand circle was created by the white-spotted puffer fish. A fish made that circle? That's right, Leo. To create the sand circle, the white-spotted puffer fish swims along the seabed and uses its fins to construct detailed patterns. The puffer fish even decorates the circle with seashells. It takes up to 10 days for the puffer fish to complete its masterpiece. That's amazing! Let me tell Kai about it. He'll be so glad to know that there's no alien invasion. Hmm, he's not picking up. If he's diving deep underwater, the signal on his communicator could be out of range. Let's just head to Amami Oshima Island to find him. I'd like to see the amazing circle for myself. Thanks for coming over so quickly. No worries, Kai. We have some good news. I have some good news, too. But you go first. There's no alien invasion. The sand circle was created by the white-spotted pufferfish, not aliens. Wait, what? The pufferfish spends more than a week working on the circle, so we really shouldn't be destroying it. Uh-oh. What do you mean, uh-oh? Um, my good news is that the sand circle has been destroyed. But I guess that's bad news. Hi! I had nothing to do with it because I was waiting for you guys. Who destroyed it then? Well, you have to see it to believe it. Follow me! Meet the destroyer of sand circles, the humpback whale. This was not what I was expecting. Me neither. Look, it's the white-spotted pufferfish. Oh no, it looks upset. <gasps> What's happening to it now? It says here that when the pufferfish is afraid, it takes water into its stomach to make itself look bigger. What a swell idea! <laughs> because it swells itself up. <laughs> Let's get a bit closer. I'm worried for the puffer fish. I'd like to see if I can get a better view of it, just to make sure it's okay. <gasps> the whale is headed this way. whale is gone, the pufferfish is creating a new sand circle. That gives me an idea. We'll distract the whale while the pufferfish works on it. Ah! Ah! I'm getting dizzy. Oh no, I think it's done playing with us. Oh, the whale is destroying the fish is 
masterpiece again! Oops, sorry, I didn't see you there. Ranger Jockey! Hello, Junior Rangers. What are you doing here? I found a sand circle on the ocean floor and thought that aliens were responsible for them. But we found out that it was actually made by the white-spotted pufferfish. That's right, Leo. The male white-spotted pufferfish creates such intricate patterns in the sand to attract the female. If she likes what she sees, she lays her eggs in the center of the circle. I'll lead the whale away with my singing. Oh. Oh. <gasps> it's working! The whale is following him! Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Thank you! It's just us now, Mr. Pufferfish. Don't worry, we'll help you build your circle. It's beautiful! <gasps> Look who's swimming over! Yay! She likes the circle! of hero. Whoa, that's nice. How did yours turn out, Leo? Um, <laughs> it's a little abstract. Ranger Leo speaking. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Jane. How's the zebra migration going? Have they found fresh grass? Hi, Leo. Hi, Katie. The zebras are still on the move, but a mother zebra has lost its baby in the herd. Locally, I have a photo of it. Can you come over to help me find the baby? Of course, Jane. The photo will come in handy. Hang tight. We'll be right over. Cool. I'll send you my location. Ranger out. Ranger out. Now let's go. Ugh. Let's find out more about zebras. And get away from this pesky fly. Here it is. The Plains Zebra. Plains Zebras are the most common species of zebras. Zebras are part of the horse family, and they are known for their black and white stripes. Every year, thousands of zebras migrate, traveling over great distances to look for food, like fresh grasses and water. Oh boy, that's a lot of them, and they all look the same. Actually, each zebra has a different stripe pattern. No two zebras have the same stripes. Like human fingerprints, its pattern is unique. So we just have to match the stripes. And since we have a picture of the baby zebra, it'll be a snap. Hmm, stripes and patterns? I think I'll bring our paint along, just in case. Good idea, Katie. Look at all those zebras. Hi, Jane. Hi, Zumi. Hi, Leo. Hi, Kitty. Don't worry, Mama Zebra. We'll find your baby. <coughs> Let's see. Oh, wow. That is a lot of stripes. Whoa, too many. Huh? Leo, are you okay? Oh, thanks, Katie. <laughs> the stripes are a little confusing. Let's see what else we can find. Ouch! Not again! And I thought the fly in our backyard was bad. This fly is worse. It bites! I got it! It says here that scientists scan zebra stripes like barcodes to tell them apart. Uh-huh. So, we can do the same thing. I'll make a zebra stripe scanner. Got it! Now I just have to... Done! There is our scanner! Cool! You just have to aim it at a zebra. 
And it's a success if the stripes match. Aim at a zebra. Oh, these pesky flies are getting in the way. Why aren't the flies bugging the zebras? Maybe it's because they've got stripes and you don't. <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! What do you mean, Ranger Rocky? Not only do zebra stripes look cool, we're starting to find out that it could be pretty useful, too. Scientists think that one of its functions is to confuse insects like flies, making it harder for them to land on zebras. And if they can't land, they can't bite. Nifty, don't you think? I'll be buzzing off now. Bye, Bye Ranger Rocky. Rocky! How are we gonna get stripes, Katie? Oh, you'll see. This is so cool! It's a good thing you brought the paint over. Hopefully this will get those flies to buzz off. Now, let's get back to looking for the baby zebra. We'll have to scan every one of them. Katie, Hero, and I will use our jetpacks to get a better view. Jane, you brought your own ride? The baby's mother insisted. <laughs> let's go, Rangers! Jetpack jet activate! activate. <laughs> What if we scanned all the zebras at once? I'll have to use your camera, Hero. It's scanning. Let's see if we can find a match this time. Oh, what's this? It's a match. We found the baby. Yes! <gasps> Rio, no! Oops! <laughs> Huh? Oh, no! Jane, we've got trouble! I know! Can you get to the baby? I'm sending you its coordinates. We'll take care of the herd. Got it! Stop it! Calm down! There's nothing to be afraid of! Hang in there, little one. We can't keep this up much longer. We need something to stop these zebras. Something to stop them. Way to go, Zumi. We did it. See, told you guys it'd be a snap. Well, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Are you okay, Katie? I feel fine, Leo. Are you sure? Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Farah. I found a proboscis monkey that lost its honk. A proboscis monkey? That's right. They're known for their honks, but this monkey just can't do it. That's a pretty big nose. <laughs> Choo! That was a loud sneeze. It's Katie. I think she has a cold. <sniffs> and a really stuffy nose. A stuffy nose? Of course! Maybe the proboscis monkey has a cold too. It can't honk because of its stuffy nose. Good thinking, Farah. We'll be right over to help. Thanks, Leo. Ranger out. There it is. The proboscis monkey. Proboscis monkeys have large noses. Male proboscis monkeys have larger noses than female proboscis monkeys. In fact, a male's nose can measure over 10 centimeters. So the monkey Farah found is a male. That's right. Their large noses help them honk louder, while proboscis monkeys use a variety of sounds to communicate Males, in particular, tend to honk to attract females and scare off intruders. We have to help him get his honk back. Hi, guys. Hello, Farah. I found him sitting alone. <gasps> oh, dear. 
I'm fine. I don't have a cold. Let me check my handbook. Are you sneezing, Katie? I'm not. <laughs> Choo! Check. You have a cold. And just like the proboscis monkey, my handbook says you need to keep warm. I don't need to. <sighs> this feels nice. Thanks for the scarf, Bara. But I don't think keeping warm is enough. Katie's right. What else can we do? It says here that healthy foods can fight a cold. There are plenty of fruits in the forest, and fruits are healthy. Great idea, Farah. Let's go pick some for the monkey. This ripe fruit looks good. The proboscis monkey will love it. No ripe fruits for the monkey. Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Rocky. <laughs> the proboscis monkey can't have any ripe fruits. Because of how their stomachs work, it's dangerous for proboscis monkeys to eat ripe fruits. They might fall sick from it. Instead, proboscis monkeys prefer unripe fruits. Like this one, Ranger Rocky? Yes, that's perfect. Besides unripe fruits, proboscis monkeys also eat leaves. Leaves sound healthy too. So we'll have to pick leaves and unripe fruits for the proboscis monkey. Glad I could swing by to help. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. <laughs> Can you honk now? Oh dear, it didn't work either. What else can we do? Huh? What's happening? Hey, where are you going? Wait for us! Whoa! Let's follow them. Behind. Let's cheer him on, hero. Jetpack activate. <laughs> oh dear, what's going on? The other monkeys are ignoring him because he can't honk. That's horrible. That's it. We have to help him get his honk back. Must find a treatment. Got it. Another way to clear a stuffy nose is to use steam. Steam? I have just that. Here, Leo, place this under the monkey's nose. Great idea, Farah. The hot steam from the tea will clear his nose. Here, Katie, you need this too. Ah, wow. I can finally breathe normally again. And you said you didn't have a cold. Can you honk now, monkey? <sighs> it's still not working. Wait, what's that sticking out of his nose? <gasps> Something stuck. It's coming out there. A leaf? <coughs> He's honking. <coughs> it wasn't a stuffy nose. His nose was stuffed with a leaf. They're friends again. Bye, monkey. Have fun. <gasps> Let's go home, Katie. We need to get you to bed. Mission accomplished. Hit subscribe and click the like icon.